practice is going? It's going great, you know, just getting used to the altitude, um, getting used to my teammates, so um, really just enjoying it so far. Yeah, how's that altitude? Yeah, it's something. It's definitely different. I'm kind of getting used to it now after we had a whole full week last week, so uh, I'm starting to get used to it a little bit. How important is it to you to get to know your teammates, you being such a, a high IQ guy, and where do you think you are in that level of familiarity? Uh, it's really important, you know, for me, setting guys up for easy shots, you know, getting the team chemistry um, to where it needs to be in order to win and have a good show in the summer league is really important. So um, I think going out through these couple of days of practice is moving us in the right direction. How similar and how different are the systems here between what you did in Penn State? Uh, it's actually kind of very similar. I mean, there's a couple of different calls, but basically exactly how we played at Penn State is how we're playing here um, on the defensive side of the ball. And we even run some of the same sets we did at Penn State here. So um, it's kind of been a smooth transition. In that light, have you been telling guys, like, hey, in this action, here's a read for us or something like that? Definitely, definitely. Trying to get Julian some open shots or him paint on a cut is something I'm definitely looking at. So, you know, just trying to make their job a little bit more easier. When you stepped in here and started playing, did it really set in that you were drafted and that you, you know you made it and all that stuff? Definitely. I think seeing Jamal out here with us was definitely like that moment, like wow, you know, this is really Jamal Murray, like NBA experience. So um, I can't wait for us to get the guys here and everything. And this unbelievable experience has just been great so far. How has Jamal helped you around here, especially with Yeah, definitely. Um, basically, he just tells me what to look for in certain actions. And you know, getting out here and really feeling like NBA defense and competition. Um, it's just been great, and he's just doing a great job, you know, communicating to us. What does it mean when a guy comes off winning a championship just two weeks ago, and he spends the time in the gym to get to know you guys and help you guys get ready for summer league? It means a lot, man. You know, they're not satisfied just winning one championship. They want to win more, and he's talking about it, and he's talking about how we can help the team and different things like that. So, I mean, it's great to see one of the veteran guys, you know, come back so early to work with us. How would you describe the competition between you and Colin, how you guys are just pushing each other to get better and then playing off each other? Yeah, Colin's a really good player, man. High IQ, really physical, and um, he's making me better every day. So I think when one and two guys can really compete against each other at a position and make each other better, it's just going to help the whole team out. Andre Miller's a, a popular player comparison for you. What's it been like to have him in the gym? And have you, have you picked any, his brain at all? Definitely. I talk to him every day, man, so just to see, like, you know, what I can do better, um, how can I fit into a role here, and just, you know, picking a best brain, you know, have a similar game to him. Um, and he was successful in the NBA and played a long career, so I'm trying to learn as much as I can from him. Jalen, just describe your journey from being, being in Siena to training from Penn State to getting to this point now. Yeah, um, it's been a long journey, but you know, just putting in work every single day, you know, shots before practice, after practice, and basically just learning different systems and learning tendencies from different players is great. So, um, you know, coming from Siena, just being able to play with, you know, a lot of athletes and then coming to Penn State and playing with a lot of shooters, I'm just, you know, enjoying my time. And just like that transition from playing in the Mac to the Big Ten, what was that just period like? And how do you think those experience playing in two different conferences help you, will help you now in the NBA? Definitely. Um, going from the MAC up to you know Penn State, the athleticism was definitely you know a big jump, and you know going from basically college to the NBA, these are the best athletes in the world with high IQ. So um, I think it's just gonna help me out a lot. You know, it's gonna be an adjustment period, but you know I'm ready for the challenge, and I can't wait to you know show people what I got. What do you want to What do you want to accomplish at summer league on an individual level? Uh, basically, just get used to the system um, and just showcase that, you know, what I do at every level can translate. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing for me, just, you know, getting people involved and, you know, being a physical defender, I think, can really help me get on the floor. You got so many parts to your game. Is there a part that you want to highlight the most or you most hope people see at this level? Um, I think for me, you know, just being able to shoot the basketball, you know, being able to make shots at the next level. Um, I finally got my three point up last season to a good percentage, so hopefully I can carry that over um, to this year. Is there anything you did to get that number up? Is there any like change to your shot or anything? Oh, uh, yeah, shoot on the way up and, you know, shoot a lot of shots. You know, uh, we get in a nice shooting. I shoot two, three times a day, and I'm just going to try and keep going with that routine. We talked a lot about pace, and JB loves to play with pace. Has he had any conversations with you about what he wants the team to look like and how they want to run? Definitely. I mean, when we get stops, he wants us to get out transition and, you know, play with great pace. And then in the half court, you know, run our actions quick, fast, and, you know, play at our basically our own speed, too, you know, play in control. So pace is going to be a big thing for us. Have you been able to feel the game being played at a different pace so far? Definitely. I mean, you got guys who play in transition like Pay Pewad. I mean, he's out there all the time on the wings running and just playing the transition. So when you got like that, you know, you can just advance it up to him and it just makes my job easier as a lead guard. Appreciate you, Jalen.